On the 27th, we had a problem here where we weren't getting any water coming in. We didn't have any water, so the workers were at a standstill. The water authority came, and when they came, there, they came with the water tanker to restore water to the tanks. But then, when the tanks were open, we saw the infestation of the insects and millipedes and stuff inside the tanks. So, they said it was unsafe for us to fill the tanks to use the water. So, after that, we, we then notified management of what was going on. Well, the supervisor, and he then spoke to the superintendent. But then, when they came, they ran water directly to the system. But we were not satisfied with that because when they brought the water in, the filters weren't dealt with. As you can see, the filter here still dripping. And now they took the tanks away yesterday, got the clean. The tanks came back within two hours, two hours and a half. And now, as you can see, the tanks here hooked back up. But the warranty that was on the tanks that said they were valid for seven years, the warranty is gone. And this is what we left with here. How long these tanks were here for? These tanks were here for, well, they asked the superintendent and he told me over 12 years, so roughly 13 years, these tanks were here and we were using these. So you all saw melopees and insects inside the same tank that you all well, drinking from? The melopees and stuff are still here. As you can see, look on the ground, this is what came out of the tanks when the guys here. All the melopees that you see around here, these were, were infested in the tanks and some were in the tanks. So when we took out the filter this morning, the filter, although they restored the tanks, the filter still brown, everything inside there still stinks. So the water ain't good enough for us. We can't be using this water. And then we have another problem here where we have toilet facilities. This building over here behind, behind us, this building here, there's about a year and a half that the toilets over here were condemned. So you got roughly 30 people at the landfill working and we down to one staff toilet. Sometimes people just gotta go upstairs to use the superintendent toilet and stuff, but that's still good enough. They're in the lunchroom facilities, they're in the changing rooms. You got electrical panels over here that open, dying that safe. That electrical panel burnt already and up to now they're still in the land with it. And then we got a problem, the laborers in the landfill. They got a hut down there that they use and Inside the hut, they got holes in the hut. The hut was supposed to be changed from, well, they said the first estimate was from 2020. Then they got a revised one in 2022. And up to now, nothing had happened. And they got um, holes in the hut. Some workers had to see rats inside the hut. Yeah. So the conditions up there aren't good enough. And you got people coming here and providing a service for sanitation, and this is what we get in return. This isn't good enough. We want proper facilities. I mean, we just give, Barbados 100%. Everybody's talking about how good sanitation is, how good sanitation workers is perform, but this is what we get from management. So on the outside, everybody's saying, oh, sanitation workers, sanitation workers working and they're doing the best way the case would be. We just get praises, but we ain't getting praises from management with this kind of conditions.